The Jacinth Ambrosia Mine is the jewel in a Lucas crown. The heavy mineral sands mine is shaping up to be one of the largest mineral sands and biggest zircon mines in the world, contributing 25% to global zircon production. The gravity-fed separation process removes clay and waste sand to produce a heavy mineral concentrate. The company is demonstrating its commitment to Aboriginal employment in its operations. The project from discovery up to starting up was the quickest ever project from discovery to start up in South Australian history for a mine. We've got uh, 65 Iluka people here permanently and with exact mining and uh, the camp services ACS there's a total of 105 people based here permanently. Of that there's 40% of them are locals and half of them are indigenous. It probably just worked out that way. We had an agreement with the Far West Coast traditional owners that we would aspire to 20% employment. We picked the best people that were out there and we managed to get 20% from startup, which was good. There's been a lot of success stories with the uh, local employment and we've been fairly lucky and it's great to all be involved in a winning team at the moment and I think everyone's enjoying the challenges that have been put out to them and we've actually uh, got to work with some local Indigenous people who have shared a lot of their culture with us and that's been a very exciting pr process for myself and it's been a, a nice challenge and it's a bit like winning in football, meeting our targets and meeting the budgets and making it all happen and uh, having our little celebrations along the way. Working for Aluka, I find them a very good company, especially with Indigenous people. Uh, they're trying to encourage a lot of them to come out here and when the mining company ended up coming here, it's, it was a, I think a lot of Indigenous people were getting a bit happy about it. And it's just, it was just try and get in there. If you're in there, you're happy. Everyone gets on well out in this environment. I feel good. At least it's a decent job. There was a, a lot of training that we had to do. There was like full on. Now I'm out here, I'm happy. At least it's putting food on the table for my kids. If there's kids out there today that want to get into mining, I suggest them to stay at school, learn, give it a go, that's all they can do. Come out, give it a go, have a try at it. If you like it, stay. If you don't, you can always try something else. Totally different out here, especially with the hours. The hours are long and hard sometimes, but I enjoy them. No, I love it. I mean, the guys are good, the team's good. It was a lot harder before I did get this job. I mean, the money's, the money's good for the hours I do, the hard work I do. I thought the training was hard when I first started at the TAFE. Yeah, they do support us. Um, they do have a lot of time for us. If we do have problems at home or anything like that sort of stuff, they, they are 100% behind us, I've found out. You have to separate your work from home life. I mean, I do miss a lot of birthdays and family get-togethers and that sort of stuff, but it benefits all my family, just not, not only me. My kids love it. I, I love giving my kids something when they do want it. Um, they do get a lot of things that I never had when I was younger. Once I did find out there was a mine um, starting up, I did put every effort into getting a job out here and left no stone unturned to go and get my job out here. And now I'm out here, I'm going to stay here as long as I can, really. And hopefully one day my son might actually be working on the mines. <laughs> I think you have to weigh it up in the end. If you want to get somewhere in life, you have to work hard for it. Um, you have to make sacrifices. Um, my family understands that as well as I do, but I think in the end, um, I'm going to get the rewards for it. My family's going to be better off. And at the moment, that's all that matters to me is my family and my extended family. And if I can help them anyway, I will. And being out here on the mines, you do get that chance to do it, but you do have to be prepared to sacrifice a lot to get where you want to be. Yeah, uh, it's my first real job. Yeah, it's just been great. Oh, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like, like the job. Getting pretty good at the dumpies. Want to move on to a next machine. Uh, the boys, they're, they're, they're good. Um, sometimes they can be a pain, but they're good, good laugh, 
good to yarn with. Alright, just make sure you just go to school, do your education, stick it out. Um, just keep on learning and you might be at here someday. Oh, just proud about myself for getting this job. This is the first light mine in our, our area, so it was good to get a job here, you know. From doing two days a week to doing two weeks on and one week off was was a big big change for me. I was sort of struggling, like just even to pay the bills. But now I've I haven't got a problem at all. To be picked out of uh, the heap of guys, being what, what age I am, and I'm, um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of that, what, I, what I've done. Working here now, it's um, really good. It's, it's something different, you know, not what I expected. When I first came out of here and saw the mine, it was a really eye opener. And yeah, it's, yeah, I'm really going good. Really love it out here. Coming out here, you hands on, you're, le you're learning a fair bit as you as you go. Everyone out here all um, you know work together as a good team. Everyone uh, pulls their weight, which is really good. Yeah, I've always been a hands on person, and that's the way I like it, and I really enjoy it. Where do you see yourself in five years? Probably not here. Um, retired. <laughs> 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 Travelling, hopefully. <laughs> It's good to be out here, you know. I've uh, been looking for work for a while before I started. I, I like learning. I want to learn all I can out here for, you know, the future. You've got to make some sacrifices during your life to, you know, get what you want for you and your family. So you can achieve what you want. Just keep applying yourself. Yeah. That's that's how I've done it. I, I, you know, I've applied in a lot of places before. Didn't get nowhere, but. Um, you know, I kept going and I'm out here now. It's created a great employment opportunity for the area, which, you know, shows results today where we've got a, a number of Indigenous people that's actually working out on the site and have been very successful. Seeing Aboriginal people developing an opportunity where other Aboriginal peoples are actually seeing saying, wow, these guys are actually out there, they're actually working in the mining industry. You know, they are seeing lifestyle changes within themselves. So it, when you look at it that way, yeah, it's, 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 it's a great result for Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in, in the Sejuna area. It's obviously on Aboriginal land, so um, it makes me proud to be associated with that. If you really want to do mining, want to be part of it, I'd advise you to see the right person, get some information, education is, is important, and then proceed to go forward with your interests. It has changed my life quite, quite dramatically, and, um, and I have plans to stay around and uh, continue to be around, and I think it's in the long term it's, it's going to have a quite a big effect on, 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 on my overall life and well-being. The team here has really clicked together really well. Like we all just fit in. It's a very small team, so everybody's sort of quite personal with each other. We all do the same amount of work. We all pull in, and you know everyone's treated the same. And don't th think because you've got no experience that you can't do it. Start off maybe as a ca casual, and then you know just try, just go for it. Yeah, we just socialise quite a bit after work actually. We get in and play tennis together, and you know the the history behind this place. I think it's important that everybody knows it and to get the land back to what it was before we started. Um, so the least amount of water we can use, uh, the better. So we decant the water off the tails and recycle it back through the plant so it's less water we have to use out of the bores. I love it here. <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, mining's definitely hard. Um, I've found it hard missing my kids, but um, it's something you've got to deal with when you come out to a fly and fly at site. So, yeah, but apart from that, it's pretty good.